anyway, I am almost done watching the phones. So, I'm going to watch Dogs and Cats, which is better. sitting in their driveway petting their cat in the middle of the night once so they think i'm kind of creepy but anyway let's get <laughs> on to dogs i love dogs always have however i do prefer bigger dogs over smaller ones because in my experience 90 percent of the aggressive dogs i meet are small oh Big dogs are usually just teddy bears while the small ones think they are more powerful than oh. they actually are yeah <laughs> i think it's just something we're born with some people have a cat aura and some people have a dog aura my dog energy is infinite. I love dogs and I want to pet all of them. Mine too. I've had dogs <laughs> all throughout growing up. We had Pixel, Doop, and now we got Dixie. Pixel was a really good dog. When we were all really young, my brother Brayden took a Sharpie and drew all over Pixel. She didn't mind though. She was a chill girl. <laughs> Mom wasn't too happy about it though. Rest in peace, Pixel. Then we got Doop. I won't go into details, but we rescued Duke from some really bad people, and he had some trauma and didn't like other dogs. However, he did like our other dog, Dixie. Duke was a really good yeah. dog. Yeah! He had heterochromia, meaning one of his eyes was blue and the other was brown. He didn't realize how big he was either, and would try and snuggle up and lay on our laps like a chihuahua. Even though it would compress my lungs, I would still let him lay on me because he was so cute. <laughs> he was also very good know. at eating flies. A good boy for the ages. Rest in peace, buddy. And our current family dog is Dixie. She is so sweet, snuggly, and cute. She has very expressive ears, and she loves it when you pet her butt. <laughs> also, she is so gentle with almost all creatures. For example, I used to have a pet guinea pig named Link, and Link and Dixie were friends. Also, Dixie used to catch birds for fun, but she wouldn't kill them. And she would bring them inside, and I would help the birds calm down, and then they would fly away. But I can just imagine Yay, them telling all their birds kill them. Bro, this big dog caught me and I thought it was going to eat me, but it let me go. No way, you're making that up. It's true, I swear. Nope, no way. Did you see what that Rottweiler did to Harry? Oh, no. Oh. No way would a dog let you go. But yeah, she's a gentle dog. However, me and my brothers will sometimes fight and horseplay with each other, and Dixie doesn't like that. <laughs> she will try and defend whoever's being attacked, but she often misjudges who the victim is and will nip at the wrong person. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, she didn't really bite me. She just does a warning bite. She's never drawn blood, and trust me, she's a cripple and she wanted to hurt someone she could. But most cripples are actually the sweetest creatures on the planet, and 
they don't deserve the bad reputation. Because in yeah. almost all cases of pit bulls being violent, the bad owners are to blame. There are no bad dogs, only bad owners. <laughs> I've actually had one pet cat when I was young. Why only one? Because my mom is allergic. But you're bad. <laughs> anyway, her name was Katie, and honestly, she was an outside cat, so I don't really remember a lot about her. However, I do have a too. I was two years old, and my family was building a treehouse. I was sitting up there while they all worked on the treehouse when Katie crossed my path. I remembered hearing that cats always land on their feet, so I decided to test it. Oh, no. We actually have video of it. The video didn't catch the fall, but you see the before and after and the reaction from my grandparents. Here it is. Hi, Bryson. Well, today is Thanksgiving 2003. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Did he push the cat down? I'm sorry. I was only two years old. I hadn't discovered empathy. It wasn't a malicious attack. What went on in my head was cats land on feet, see cat, push cat to test theory. She was fine. She never forgave me, though. <coughs> the issue with dogs and cats is that you get them, you fall in love with them, and then they die, and it breaks your heart. <coughs> and so I decided to get a pet that's a little more long-term. Meet Scooter and Egg, my two pet tortoises. These guys can live longer than 50 years, so they might outlive me. They are yeah. very personable and cute. The best pet rocks a guy could ask for. Dixie is also friends with the tortoises. However, she doesn't respect them very much because I feed the tortoises carrots and for some reason Dixie really likes to eat carrots too. I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> I turned my back for one second and Dixie stole the carrots. <coughs> she wasn't too happy about that. Uh-oh. Uh, since I feed them carrots, Egg now thinks that my fingers are carrots. I often take the tortoises outside so they can get some sun, and I give them baths to keep them clean and hydrated. And I love them. I'm the best dad ever. Although, Ed yeah. was away one time and was missing for two months. The way it happened was crazy. I was sitting in the front yard watching a show while the tortoises were chilling. Scooter was in sight at all times, but Egg was taking a nap under a rock out of sight. And I would check on her every five minutes. This went on for an hour, and she hadn't moved at all. But the next time I checked, she was gone. I searched everywhere, but there was no sign of her. Then I remembered that our doorbell had a camera on it, so I scoured the footage between the last time I saw her sleeping and when she was lost, and there was only a five-minute window. I kept my eyes peeled, but nothing. It was like she vanished into thin air. Oh, no. So I went through the proper missing pet procedures. Missing posters, every missing pet app known to man, calling animal shelters, crying a lot. <laughs> <coughs> and two months later, my neighbors found her under a rock. Egg with delicious taste and fifty no! Egg was unfazed. She could have kept going. Did you know that tortoises can go three years without food? Yes. But now that she's home, she gets all the food she wants. I reunited her with Scooter, and Scooter did not care. But I cared. I'm so glad we found her. Yeah. I've told you guys that I'm stupid before, but this confirms it. If you had any doubt. Yes, I somehow managed to lose one of the slowest creatures on the earth. <coughs> smooth brain. They basically yeah. are their own little pet dinosaurs. Just size them up a bit, and boom, they fit right in with Jurassic Park. <coughs> anyway, I now love both cats and dogs, but I think my relationship with dogs is healthier because they were even too. Cats aren't so generous. <coughs> they bite and scratch me so I can try and pet them, though, because I'm that desperate for affection. <laughs> to end this video off, I'd like everyone to listen to this PSA. If a dog rolls over and shows their belly to you, that means you should definitely give them belly rolls. But if a cat rolls over and shows their belly, do not under any circumstances pet it. That is a trap. The cat is just trying to kill you. I speak from experience. Oh, the sting of betrayal. <laughs> and also the sting of claws and teeth. The moral of the story is, love is given, trust is earned. And I trust dogs more. The end. <laughs> hey, you, you like dogs? Of course you do. I mean, you saw the video. I don't like dogs. Well, I found an awesome documentary called The Secret Life of Dogs, all about, you guessed it, dogs. You can find it over at Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is an online documentary streaming. <laughs> Made by creators, hey. 
my daughter. It's also a great way to support me as a creator. So go to curiositystream.com slash hamination. Okay, do it. In the description to sign up. You'll be directly helping me and my channel. Thank you for watching the video and thank you to Curiosity. I don't care.